Alright guys, been a while again I know. I am trying to get back into uh, truck building and everything. But I have had a lot, a lot, a lot of things going on. So, pretty organised and I'm pretty ready to get that back on the go. But at the minute, trail time with the wife and the SCX102, Dave and his new Camisra Range Rover, Charisma Range Rover. I've got Paul with his uh, Unimog. It's inspired me now to finish off my Charisma Range Rover, it just needs the uh, roof attaching. I've scrapped the axe system for it, that's going in my SCX103 when I get that. So I'm just going brushed in my Range Rover. Anyway, onto the trail. And my wife is doing awesome, so when my 103 comes, she's going to, uh, she can have my 10.2 and get her a new body, do her like a flip pink or something so yeah trail time and if you keep your finger just constantly off that a little bit and you just keep that constant moving yeah, rather than having to pressure into them oh. which I'm doing see this is like an issue with the magnets then the problem and I mean, yeah, it's only, only when you roll it. I really don't know what to do with mine, whether to just sack it and just put holes in roof and put magnets. Whoop. I must confess I'm not over keen on magnets. <laughs> I see you've got your uh... work. <laughs> so Dave's done a flip paint job on this one. It seems like red there in that side of the light, but when it moves, it seems like gold, greens. Fantastic taste, job. Here comes the bike, the learning driver. Get some little old plates for it. Oh! I need them shins and Muay Thai shins. And Paul's completely rebuilt this. He's put new tractor tyres on it, which are working fantastic. The new front axle, I think he said. Oh, there she's going. Oh, she's powering up. No, she's doing alright, is my wife. She is just learning, getting a feel for it. Proud of her. So I'm left with no truck. So I don't know if to just babble my way through this and film trucks or just film trucks. It's not like I can leave it to a public vote, is it? Because it'd be too late. Uh, I think we're going to go down by the river and work our way up to the top of the wood to a regular spot along a load of routes and then maybe to the inside of the wood where there's loads of big tractor paths cut out and everything and it is awesome it's epic the, the speed controller might be all right then uh, babe's lost it wood somewhere up there she's coming she's finding her way uh, i'll make her some little l plates for it <laughs> you're doing awesome babe just mind that tree That was a bit, yep, well, go that way. 
That way. Yeah. That way. Yeah, I am. There you are. There you go. It's just winch bumper we're catching up rocks. Right, you're right, you're free to go. Put in. It is, the wheels are moving. You need to push the throttle. Not doing out. It is, but when it wants to. So Dave's just heading back to the car with his uh, Range Rover. His motor's burning up and frying, so he's got a commodore there. It's a new motor, so we don't know what that issue is. So, fun of them. Dave will be back with us in a few minutes. So, we're just going to uh, head up here and get some lunch. And wife wants me to drive through this. <laughs> And they are fair. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it, you're alright. So I say to the wife, stop. <laughs> Since she was coming up there, she was holding the thing and... Yeah, I've yeah. Reverse, ah, have you caught the trigger? Yeah. Climbing up there. You caught the trigger, it's launched off here. <laughs> but amazing. look at that. Just <laughs> lucky. Very lucky. Oh, I see. This is how it's done properly. <laughs> and when you turn it one way to go forward and then you come back in reverse, turn it the other way. There you go. It turns you quicker, now forward the other way. Yeah. That was a bit. Yeah. There you go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And here's Dave, he's back. So we've got Range Rover swapped. We'll swap that out for his Komodo. So this has just had all new gears, new bearings, uh, new electrics, motors, ESC. So he's done a full service job on that. This is a really good truck, you know. Dave, when he drives this, this has gone virtually, I'd say out of all the trails we've done, it's gone like 92% of the whole trails we've done. Uh, it's an awesome machine, and I think it's a bit underrated as a G-made Komodo. My wife's uh, she's doing all right. She's just trying to get the coordinations right with the left and right. So once she's got used to that, well, yeah, it looks like she's going to be having my SCX 10.2 when I get my 10.3, and uh, I'll get her a Jeep body for that one. But she also likes Jeeps. Isn't it? Is nah, it's good to have the family involved, especially my wife and kids. It's awesome. So we're going to stop off for lunch just up here at this wall and then uh, I'll get filming some trailing. Oh. <laughs> he's also said he's put a new light kit in it so I just get that in there. <laughs> Just confirm that one now. Mud and puddles, go on babe! Whee! 
You love that, didn't you? They're like little kids, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In a way, yeah. So Paul switched out his uh, Unimog for the next half of the trail and he's brought just some custom built crawler that he's built out of his spares. Nice looking little thing isn't it? I love scrap bin builds. And it's pretty amazing. We attempt this every time, don't we? This is a tricky ridge to maintain, isn't it? Yeah, it is. As soon as you slip, that's it. Going. You need all four wheels there, don't you? A lot of time, you've only got three. Yeah. Rex catching on that mud or log that's sticking out. Yeah, that's all right, catching. Not gonna come out of that. Oh, well, good effort. Yeah. Well, that's about the furthest anybody's got, yeah? Yeah. Well, see how we don't know how much cracks around here. Yeah, we don't know how much cracks around here. Yeah, he's still quite down here, though. Ripping it up. Go on my turn.
a bit further than me. Last time, all of us. Yeah. Yeah, and it's probably a bit worse than all, isn't it? Well done. It's how you fall over a lot through places like this because you're too busy watching car and then you're just walking along and you slip everywhere. Boom! Get out the way. Now you're doing proper good. Well, can't wait to come out trailing just me and you. It'll be a right laugh. Okay. Think it's stuck. If I remember, this is super deep and it won't go through. Well done, though. Go for it. We walk through the middle, I'll help you through, but you're all right, just go for it, which up. There you go. Now wait there. There's one watching it from front. He's just loving driving through the puddles, aren't you? Just tell by that big smile on your face. That's how we all feel when we see mud and puddles. Makes you feel like you. Losing it. A child again. Uh, this one. Oh. <laughs> There's not much trail footage. Reason being is these routes are a bit deadly to walk on. And when you're watching the car, you just can't see what's in your way or anything like that. So it's a bit, isn't it? A bit like falling over every two minutes, tripping, and I can't afford any injuries. So that side, uh, we'll do what we can. Oh, uh, <laughs> Stuck on that straight away. What? Saying that got stuck on that straight away. How are we going to get through? Uh, this side. Oh, I don't know how deep it is. This is quite a nightmare. It's like we're not really getting much trailing done, it's just mainly carrying trucks all over places at the minute. Too much broken wood everywhere. And then there's grass overgrowing, what were a few weeks back. Absolutely fantastic trails. So, we'll class this more of a vlog, I guess. Have a little diary on the trail. It's one of them, it is what it is. So, we know not to do these routes again and use a better location next time. I think we've always avoided that route for a reason. We totally miss this route with grass overgrowing everywhere. It's hard to tell us where's where anymore. But yeah, this is it. <laughs> yeah. <We> okay? <laughs> I'm struggling today, don't worry. Because we're too busy watching vehicles, we're not seeing all 
Big tooth there. Oh! <laughs> 